hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do these very natural looking individual lashes by yourself at home because in 2024 we need to be doing more diy and saving the coin sis yes so for this look i'm going to be using these Ilor lux 3d lashes they come in different lengths short medium and long and it comes with glue in the pack which is perfect you're going to need a pair of tweezers i'm jumping between these sharp pointed tweezers and a blunt one just use whichever one you find more comfortable to use you're going to also need like a cap or like a cover or just something that you can pour some of the glue on top because you are going to be dipping the lashes the clusters into the glue you then want to very gently pull the cluster away from the pack and then dip it into the glue not too much glue is needed just a little and then you want to start out by the far corner of your eye working your way into the inner corner now remember the lashes are placed under your eye eyelash not on top of your eyelash this gives you the most natural looking lashes okay so when i first did this i actually placed it on top not realizing that i was supposed to do it underneath and it made it such a difference so do remember it's underneath after i've applied a couple of the clusters i do like to go in with the back of my tweezers and just push that into my lash line to ensure a more natural look now halfway through the process i decided to try another technique where you apply the glue directly to your lash and then apply the clusters so sometimes some people do it this way but then i found it a little bit messy so i decided to just go back to the previous technique i was using dipping the lash into the glue but some people do do it this way so honestly just do what what works for you so i'm just working my way from the outer corner to the inner corner of my eye going from the right eye to the left eye and the left eye to the right eye just ensuring that there is symmetry there and don't be alarmed by any glue that you can see at this point it does dry clear so by this point i had used up all the longer lengths of the lashes so it was now time to move on to the medium lengths and then i was just going to use that in the inner corners of my eyes and also to fill out any gaps that i had in the other areas that i felt like needed more lashes especially the outer areas because i wanted that area to look a bit more full so this is essentially what i'm doing now just going back and forth from each eye and just filling out any gaps Guys, let me tell you, this takes a lot of patience, especially if you're doing this for the first time. Just like strip lashes, it, it takes time, it takes practice. As you can see here, I had to kind of keep pressing this particular one in and this did happen a few times where sometimes the lash, uh, the tweezers would get sticky or, or just it just wouldn't stay in place and I kind of had to just, you know, keep going in. And But it, if, you, if you are patient through the process, you will get the desired and finished look that you're looking for more times you do it the easier it will become and remember how much you're saving because doing this with a lash tech costs anywhere between 65 to 90 pounds and this pack costs 10 pounds so and the glues included tweezers cost like a pound in the hair shop so yeah you're really saving a lot of money and at this point I was finished and I used up all the medium lengths and I didn't have to use any of the shorter lengths so I just saved them for another time and this is the finished look guys I really love the natural finish it gave but it still gave a glam look as well what do you guys think would you try this at home let me know in the comments thank you guys for watching and see you on my next one bye